Hi, it's Andy again, and uh, today I have part two of the design support library tutorials that I'm doing. Um, this one's going to be on floating labels. And this is a pretty easy implementation. It's probably the easiest thing uh, out of the design library to implement. Um, so it's actually very little code. Um, in fact, as you can see, this is the complete activity that I'm using to run it, and you notice there's no Java code. All it is is just inflating a layout. Um, just doing that just to show you how easy this is you'll probably want to add in some error checks if you're going to use this for like a username and password like I have it in the in the demo app all right so uh, where I left off before um, I need we need to be able to launch this activity so uh, as you can see we get the menu item here on this on navigation item selected so we need to actually sort out which uh, menu item we're selecting um, so I just put in a little switch clause here with uh, we're calling menu item dot get item ID so that we can actually put in a bunch of clauses here for just the items that we're uh, doing so this uh, r dot ID dot drawer labels actually coincides with our right here the first item that we're doing so drawer labels so we're doing this with an intent since it's an activity. Um, this probably isn't going to be your best looking thing because it's going to have a little bit of jitter and jag because we're going to do some uh, closing of the drawer as we're starting a new activity which isn't really good um, performance wise. This, we'll probably want to do something with a fragment instead. Um, I'm just showing it for the uh, to show you how to call uh, the menu items and it's pretty quick and easy to implement. Okay, so let's get into our layout. Uh, so here's our floating layout um, design. This is just a, an empty view with uh, a background just to kind of give it some material-ish design. It matches our, uh, our uh, header for our drawer navigation view. Um, okay, so here's the, the magic. All of it comes down to this uh, android.support dot design dot widget dot text input layout um, basically you're going to want this is just going to be a wrapper for your edit text view that's all it does and we're going to set our hints and it knows what to do with the hint inside the edit text below it um, so this is just some padding to kind of make it look a little nicer um, and then uh, this is just you know matching the width of the device and wrapping the content so matching whatever we need and nothing more so there's nothing else to this I put in a bu button but it doesn't do anything because we didn't do anything in, in the activity so let's run this and see what it looks like so let's run this on the device okay so we're gonna open up our drawer and select our floating labels see how it's trying to close the drawer and launch the activity you're not going to want to do that you're going to want to try to do something um, probably with fragments and keep the drawer there so you can switch back and forth between them uh, I'm just doing this because I'm planning on incorporating everything from the design library in its own activity um, okay so here we go here's our, our uh, empty view and Look how nice that is. Our little floating labels for our edit text they automatically expand and shrink when you select the, the view. As you can see, it does nothing. All right, so this is probably the easiest tutorial that I'll, <laughs> I'll ever make uh, since there's absolutely no real Java code needed. Um, so if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Take care.